Good morning, everybody. Orin Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and today I'm going to show you how to do a couple things. One, I'm going to show you how to set up blue stacks to play War of the Vision with less crashes, with better frames, and I'm going to show you how to download and install the Amazon App Store so you can play this game through the Amazon version of the app, um, which will let you use Amazon coins and save some money if you're ever thinking about spending in this game. Yeah, let's get to that right now. Okay, here we go. Now, you're going to see right here, you are looking at my desktop, right? Step one, the most obvious step, is you're going to need to go download BlueStacks. Now, if you go to BlueStacks.com, where we're at here, you're going to see this big, fancy-looking ad for BlueStacks 5 in the middle of the screen. Completely ignore that. You do not want BlueStacks 5. You want BlueStacks 4, which is either right here or right here. So you're going to click that, and it's going to say, hey, do you want to download this? You click that to install. Boom. Go through that installation process. Like, you've probably installed software on your computer before. I'm not going to waste your time with that. Um, go through that. You'll have BlueStacks installed, and that's the first and easiest step. Just remember, don't do five. Do four. That's the key. Okay, now next up, you can see I've zoomed in on two icons here on the screen. That is BlueStacks 64-bit and the BlueStacks Multi-Instance 64-bit Manager right here. I'm going to open up that Manager, and this is what you see. Now, here's what you want to run on. You want BlueStacks N34 Large Virtual Address. This is the version of BlueStacks you want to you want to run to play War of the Visions. All right, now the next step involves a binding your account to Facebook. So you can either um, download War of the Visions through the Play Store and do it like that, knowing that you'll have to uninstall the game afterwards, or get on your other device and do it through there. What you're going to do, you're going to go to Menu, it's going to bring up this, you're going to go to Accounts, and in Accounts there's going to be a button that says Log In with Facebook. Now mine is like grayed out because I've already linked my account to Facebook, but what you want to do, and this is really important for playing on the Amazon App Store, is go ahead, log in with Facebook. This will bind your current account to your Facebook account. Great. That is the way you are going to log in to the Amazon App Store. So next let's talk about how to get the Amazon App Store onto BlueStacks and download the game through there. Okay, now you've linked your account to your Facebook account. We need to download the Amazon App Store and put that into BlueStacks. So you're going to Google this right here, Amazon App Store APK. Type that into Google. The first result will be download the Amazon App Store. You click that link. You click this button right here, and it will download the Amazon App Store into your downloads file. Now, when you click it, it's going to say, hey, are you sure? The Amazon App Store supports only Android devices. The device you're using might not be compatible. You still want to download it. Remember, we're using an Android emulator to play the game. You can install the Amazon App Store on that. So you would click yes. Boom, it would download. Now, after it's downloaded, you have your blue stacks open, right? Bring up your downloads folder. This Amazon app will be one of the top things in there. You simply drag this app into blue stacks and it will install this right here, the Amazon App Store. Hooray! And you even get free Amazon coins every day, which is pretty cool. You get like two or three coins a day just by opening the App Store. So today I got three Amazon coins. Awesome. You can use those in-game. Cool. All right. That's how you get the Amazon App Store installed. Then you just come up here. You type War of the Visions, which is, you can see, the thing I do the most. And I already have it installed, but the only would just say, hey, you want to download and install this game? Cool. Now... If you already had War of the Visions installed through the Google Play Store, you will need to uninstall that before you install it through the Amazon App Store. But once you've downloaded it through the Amazon App Store and you come back here, you'll have the logo. When you log in, it will ask you to log in through your Facebook account. And now you're playing the game through the Amazon App Store. And when you go to make purchase, it will let you use Amazon coins to make that purchase. And that's it. That is the way to get your account Amazon coin accessible. Now what we need to talk about is how to make this game run on BlueStacks in a way that doesn't make you want to pull your hair out. And that's a bit of a process. Let's start on that process right now. Okay, now I need to put a bit of a disclaimer on this before I go into it. We are going to go into the registry editor here 
and um, adjust the amount of RAM that BlueStacks, BlueStacks will let us use. You can see here if I go to my settings, um, I can put my RAM usage all the way up to 12 gigs. Now I know how much RAM I have in my computer, and so I feel comfortable adjusting the setting. Normally, BlueStacks will not let you go that high. It'll cap you at four gigs of RAM by default. You have to make a registry edit to um, allow yourself to use more RAM, but by using more RAM and another trick I'm going to show you here in a little bit, it will improve the performance of War of the Visions in your BlueStacks. Let's get to that registry edit first. Uh, but again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this stuff, just don't do it right? You can still play the game at 30 FPS and it will run okay. You're just going to have some more crashes, etc. Let me show you how to change it to where how I play to where how I play. What good English. Let me show you what I did. Okay, let's get into editing this registry. You're going to go down to your search bar here in Windows 10 and you're going to search for reg edit. That is going to bring up this registry editor right here. You click that. It's going to be like, hey, are you sure? And you say, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. So here we are. What you're going to do, you're going to go to H key local machine. You're going to go to software. You're going to go to BlueStacks BGP64. You're going to go to guests. You're going to go to Android. Now, once you've clicked on Android here, like I have, you're going to see these things over to the right. You want to double click on memory. This will let you change the value data, which is in hexadecimal, of your memory. It's going to de be default set at 1000. 1000 is equal to 4 gigs of RAM, which is what you're probably running BlueStacks at right now. I changed it to 2000 because on my machine, I want BlueStacks to use 8 gigs of RAM. So 1000 equals about 4 gigs of RAM. 2000 equals about 8 gigs of RAM. You need to know what your computer has and what it can handle here, but that's the conversion, right? 1000 equals 4 gigs, 2000 equals 8 gigs. Maybe that's too oversimplified. Um, I'm not a I'm not a whiz with this stuff. This is just what I know, and most of it comes from a video Merlo made actually where he walked me through this. And so thanks to Merlo for making that video. Okay, once you've done that, right, once you've made that edit, there's still a little more to do. You need to go into BlueStacks. At this point, when you go to your settings, you will see that it's set to however many gigs of RAM you've changed it to. Mine's set to 8192 now, or about 8 gigs of RAM, where it recommends 4096, about 4 gigs of RAM. There's still another step. You need to come down here. Click enable high frame rates and jack the frame rates up to 240. Click, click save and then you open War of the Visions. Now, my War of the Visions is open already, right? So it just kind of zoomed me back in there. Let's go back to the home screen. Okay, so we're at the home screen and notice that my FPS is like at 29 or 30. That's not over 100. That's not something that's like great, right? You're going to want more than that with all this work you've done to edit this game. All right, here's the kicker. Every time you restart BlueStacks, you have to do what I'm about to show you to get the frame rate back up. You have to go back to your settings. Once you're in War of the Visions, by the way, you must be in game. You go to settings, you go to engine. Now, the RAM is fine. Don't touch the RAM. But what you do is you scroll down a bit and you see the frames per second. It's set at 240. Well, why the heck am I only getting 30? All right, we got to trick it into putting it back high again. You click unclick, enable high frame rates. You scroll it all the way down to one and you hit save. This will this will make BlueStacks be like, oh my gosh, we're running at one FPS. It's terrible. At this point, close BlueStacks completely. Okay, cool. Now you're back to just this, the BlueStacks multi-instance multi manager. BlueStacks N32, that's what you want. Click start again and we're going to boot it back up. We're probably not going to install Rise of Kingdoms, right? Well, I don't think we're interested in that game right now. Maybe you are. Maybe you're a Raid Shadow Legends person. You know, whatever. You do you. We're interested in War of the Visions. Now, we've reopened BlueStacks. Before we go back into War of the Visions, you go Settings. Scroll it down. Re-enable High Frame Rates. Put this thing all the way back up to 240. 
And I know you're not going to get 240 frames. Like, you're just not going to get 240 frames. But you can get a lot more than 30 frames. And that's the goal here. So, starting it back up. We're clicking through. Ooh, 114. I just saw a 114. I saw a 102. Oh, that menu loaded. Really pleasant looking. Things are going well. All right, clicking, clicking, whatever. We're going to get in game and see what kind of actual frame rate we're getting. And let it load. Here we go. Okay, I see 40. I see 70. 28, 62. You got to get through the menus. You got to let all this stuff load before you judge it. Okay, 168. We're bouncing right now somewhere around a hundred when it's stabilized it's going 68 it's going 104 it's 113 but look how smooth the game looks that's what you want you know what let's do a little bonus here let's throw it into a guild battle I haven't done my guild battle yet today and actually see how this game looks with these higher frame rates and without it crashing all the time Okay, here we go. We've picked an opponent. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna hit this Titus Una Gilgamesh team. You know, try and take out a meta team real quick here. A little bonus PvP footage so we can show off the smooth FPS and show off the game. Hopefully, not crashing to ruin my video. Now, are we gonna get Unid here? I feel like we're probably gonna get Unid. You know, she's probably going to heal everybody up. And even though she's healing everybody up in these buttery smooth frames, I'd still rather, you know, not lose. Who's she going to heal? Titus? Yeah, she's going to heal Titus. What a jerk Yuna is. Titus back here just cheering on his team. Gilgamesh going to Kotetsu my team. What a jerk. Yuna topping off everybody's HP. Oh my gosh. Clairvoyant Blade. Ooh, we almost got Omega screwed right there. That would have been rough. Okay. Maybe though. We can pop off and finish this team. Titus going to kill our Gilgamesh. Yeah, that was that was happening. Eunice charging a spell. Orin's going to drop an LB right here. No, he goes for the big time hazard break. Titus finish them both off. Boom, taunting blade. GG, that's three stars. And you know, we'll wrap up the video with that. I think you could see the nicer frames per second. And you know, I wasn't worried about a crash. Basically, after you do these steps, you will just have eliminated a lot of your crashes. And that's what you're going for here. And you could use the Amazon App Store now. Let me put my let me put my face back on the screen and say thanks for watching, guys. If you want to support the channel and take advantage of your new Amazon App Store, please do consider using my Amazon Coin affiliate link down in the chat. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I hope you consider taking the time to do this if you play on emulator a lot because it made my emulator experience so much better. Special thanks to Merlo who helped me with so much technical stuff a long time ago. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Later.